All right, guys, so you may have heard of the DMT laser simulation code experiment that's been going on uh, on the internet and online and things like this. And you've probably heard of Danny Goler, maybe, who is the guy who invented this experiment, who did the work and realized that you have to have a certain type of 650 nan nanometer diffracted laser and that, you know, according to the uh, assertion, is that if you smoke dimethyltryptamine and then look into the laser, into its reflection, you can see code running like in the matrix. Uh, symbols that appear to be either Japanese-like or Sanskrit-like or ancient Hebrew-like, but aren't necessarily any of those things in particular. And so I'm fascinated by this topic because as you probably well know, I am, I've been interested in the simulation theory for quite some time. I've been recording some videos about it you probably may have seen uh, but either way I want to let you guys know that today's the day my laser is arriving now I watched one of uh, Danny's podcasts and I remember him saying that certain people have been able to see the code without smoking the dimethyltryptamine and they are usually generally meditators or people with uh, you know a good quiet mind contemplative capacity so I figured what the heck why not let's give it a shot and so the laser will be coming later on this evening and I've got a nice black uh, background right behind me. And so I'm going to record myself for the first time viewing it. And I'm not gonna smoke dimethyltryptamine, but I am just gonna get into a meditative state of mind. I'm gonna cast that laser onto the background and see what I see, all right? And I'll be able to record this while I'm doing it so that I can document it and share it with you guys and share my findings. So, all right. I'm just going to be waiting. I'll, I'm going to end this video now, but I'm going to clip, add another clip to it, and uh, we'll just get started. Uh, so by the time I come back and play this next clip, the laser will be here, and we'll be getting things underway. All right, I'm excited. Are you guys ready? All right, let us go. Let's see the code. All right, guys, so here I am in the studio, and look what has arrived. Ha <laughs> ha. Just, just like an hour or two after I made that initial clip. And so real quick, too, I wanted to mention that I had ordered this laser right from Danny's website, and I'll put a link in the description uh, if you want to check him out and things. But um, he had sent me an email like a month and a half later, maybe, or a month later, and he was like, hey, man, we had some issues. You know, we had a lot of orders, and we had to, like, change the way that we build these things and get them shipped out and stuff. So I can give you a refund, or you're going to have to wait a little while if you want to. Either one's fine. Just let me know. I was like, oh, brother, no worries. Just uh, just send it when you get the chance. And I had a little back and forth correspondence with him, a couple questions and things like that. Super cool guy. So, you know, it was from his personal email, so I'm guessing it was actually him. Who knows? But uh, in any case, it was super cool of him to stay in communication and contact. And uh, we'll see how things pan out with that because I um, actually talked to him about potentially getting on this channel for a little interview, uh, which would be amazing, right? I'm sure you guys would want to see that, right? Huh? Some thumbs up for that. All right. So here it is. Very, very simple. There's, there's no instructions or anything in here. Okay. Nope. It's just the, uh, just the device itself. Interesting. So, all right. Well, let me, uh, have a look-see at this, and maybe there's some instructions on the site if I need to, if I can't figure it out myself. I'm not sure if this one is, I'm guessing it's battery power because I don't see a USB, but I don't know, I might have to take it out of this little container. I think this is a case, protective case. Yeah, that's what it looks like. All right, so I'll stop this for a minute and I'll get back to you guys after I get it set up. All right, so that was actually super, super simple. And as you can see, oh, there it is shining on the wall behind me. Now let's, uh, let's take a little look-see. I'm gonna have a look myself. Okay, I see movement happening. I definitely see movement happening. Whoa. Okay, I saw some swaying back and forth of like structures inside the laser, it would, although it doesn't look like it's 
inside the laser, it looks like it's like behind the curtain almost. Interesting. Yeah, it was like I was I was seeing some swaying and now I'm not really seeing it, but I I can tell there's something going on with my eyes trying to focus on something as well. It's like they're they're tracking, they're trying to find something to latch on to, but nothing just yet other than that. It's like something that's not part of the of the curtain is moving. Maybe it's maybe it's me. Maybe I'm not perfectly still. Okay, well now no, if I if I if I move my head, I definitely see well, it's hard to it's hard to describe. I'm going to get a little bit closer. I saw people in some of the videos pretty close up to it, so Huh, I wonder if it might work better if I look on a horizontal plane. Cuz I have both eyes focusing on a vertical plane, it might be easier to Okay, I do see something that looks sort of like lines. It's not sharp. A little disclaimer, if anyone wants to try this at home, one thing for sure, don't look at the laser itself. Obviously, I'm shining it onto this curtain backdrop, just a black backdrop. And I wonder if the fabric in, the, in this backdrop could be affecting what I'm seeing at all because it does have some motion to it. I might try a wall. Yeah, strange. All right, well, I'm gonna do a little readjustment here and see if I can get this on the door over here, which is just a white door, and see how that works. All right. All right, trying again from this angle on the door. Just wondering if it's like a magic eye that you have to adjust to. See if I can get the vertical, fatter line on the horizontal axis, rather. All right, nothing so far yet. I might look at some tutorials just to make sure that my conditions are right. It's not, it's pretty dark in this room. So uh, hopefully that's, the screen from my phone isn't having an effect on it or anything. But uh, yeah, we'll check back after doing some more research. In any case, this is the control, right? Because the claim is you could see code in there under certain conditions. Well, this is just regular conditions. We don't see any code yet. I did see some movement, but I think that was maybe just that background subtly swaying. And it does kind of seem like there might be something if my eyes could just look through the space between like the squiggly fuzzies. Um, anyways, we'll see. All right, so been at this a little bit more. I got a glass of water here to diffract the laser beam further, which is supposed to potentially add coherence. And I've been playing with this thing. I've been I've been working at it. So far, what I gather is that I can definitely see like a surface under there, but yeah, nothing has come into congruence or coherence at this point. So, that's where we're at with the experiment, except I'm going to be uh, looking for the full discovery. <clears throat> so here we are. Looks pretty simple and straightforward, no button. This will probably all get deleted out, but nonetheless. So I guess I am going to be smart and get on my bed for this. But yeah, I didn't get to the, didn't really get to the um, space where I saw colors or patterns or anything yet. So. Uh, Maybe we'll pause for a minute and then take another crack. Okay. Got a little bit more in me that time. <sighs> Definitely see movement of things. Could be like those gears they were talking about, but I think 
think those might be the characters. I'm just not quite focused on them. Hmm. Well, you can definitely see some movement happening. I like uh, the, the description of gears turning. Not so much where the regular pattern is, but the one through the water. Yeah, my bad. I don't know what happened. No worries. I thought I was seeing something here. Can you mute? No, I think I'm starting to lose it. Yeah, it's like I can definitely see the movement happening. And I think I can see them. It's just not quite clear enough. I definitely see like all the tiny digits, whatever they are, moving, turning. Um, I think I'm starting to come out. Let me try to get one more time in. Hmm. Well, nothing so far. <laughs> All right, so that was my first full on attempt at seeing the code with the molecule. Uh, I was not successful. So, first try, not a full, <laughs> not a fulfillment of what I was hoping, but. Hey, I'm not daunted. I didn't have a sitter with me, so I was purposefully going very light. And, you know, I definitely did get to a point where I could see the these, I guess they're, you know, they've been called gears, this sort of thing turning and things like that. And I did start to see things crystallize into what might have been the code, but I say might have been because it didn't quite crystallize into a clear vision. It's more like, you know, when you look at something that's lit up from the inside, it makes it blurry around the edges and it was sort of that effect. So I was waiting for it to come into crystallization, but it never quite did. And it's probably largely due to, I just did not quite have enough uh, for the first initial breakthrough experience to be able to make it click in my mind so that I can bring it into focus. So anyways, um, I'm going to be having Danny Goler on the show on the channel here in uh, a week and a half. So my intention is to have seen the code prior to that chat so that we'll have more to talk about. <laughs> but if not, it's OK. Um, you know, I was watching him on the Danny Jones podcast and, you know, Danny got to experience those gears as well that he called them. Um, somebody said they look like maybe like gears that you would see inside of a cell, like organic gears. Uh, so I went as far as he did it, it looks like, but um, didn't quite get the full Monty. So, but that's okay. Again, I'm not daunted by this. Um, I'm, I still feel inspired and excited at the, at the notion <laughs> of what this discovery might be. And so uh, I'll keep you guys posted on things as they progress for sure. But I guess that will do it for this one. And so thanks so much for watching and stay tuned again. Like I said, Danny Goler, who created the discovery, the laser DMT simulation experiment is going to be on this channel with me having a conversation on May 27th. So that'll be released shortly afterwards. Uh, you guys will have that. And so incredibly excited to have him on and looking forward to that conversation and looking forward to seeing what unfolds in the meantime with my own pioneering experiment. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. You know, let's keep the conversation going, all that good stuff. But uh, more than anything, just thanks for watching. I love you guys. Appreciate you so much. And I'll see you on another one.